All right, so the hands-on projects, what I think most of you are mostly here for. You go to my website, the website for this class. So you go to samsclass.info and then go to cnet.129s here and click that. And that'll take you here. And then at the top of this page, there's a projects link. So this shows you the projects. Now I'll add a lot more extra credit ones down here, but right now I just wanna talk about Linux journey and command injection. If you already know command line Linux, then you can skip this. By the way, notice there's a few points and then extra credit. There's a ton of extra credit in this class. So if there's a project you don't wanna do, just skip it and go on to another. If you do enough extra credit, you don't have to take the final, you can skip some quizzes, you know, there's so much extra credit, you can make up for everything by doing more hands on projects. And that's by design. In my opinion, that's what most everybody is here for is to do the hands on projects. And I really don't care about anything else. But if you want to learn everything in the book and pass those quizzes, that's fine too. But if you just want to do more extra credit, you can see there's amazing amounts of extra credit available. <laughs> um, but you're expected to do at least this much. So Linux Journey is a online page that teaches you the basics of Linux. So if you don't know the basics of Linux, you should go through this and learn it. So you open this page in a new window, open a new window, and then you open this other page in a new window, this one here. All right, and then you shrink this one down. All right, so here the Linux Journey page is really fantastic. It's a nice online set of lessons that teach you Linux and you don't even have to log in or anything. So I'm going to just try and line things up correctly on my screen. There we go. And let me shrink this one down to get it out of the way. All right. So here's the Linux journey page and you will see what this is. There are um, various chapters here. So you go to getting started. And now on the left, they've got a little lesson, just a one page lesson to read, which tells you something. And then they have a little quiz here. So you read this and you find the answer. This one here says, who developed the Linux kernel? If you go back here, you can see it's this guy, Linus Thorvalds. So that's the answer for the first question. So if you put that here, they will tell you that it's correct. And that's fine, but you don't get points for that because it doesn't keep track of your score. So to get points, you have to come over to my scoring engine that puts it on my server where I can find it. So I'm gonna put in the name of testing, which is the special name that doesn't appear on the scoreboard. And um, put in the flag, which is Linus Thorvalds. And when I submit it, it tells me I'm correct. So as you solve them, you will develop scores here. And you see somebody gave himself the name tomato soup and put their score up there. So um, uh, do these and get your score up there and then tell my grader when you've done as many as you want to do and you get some points. And there's a lot of these to do. Um, so that's the first thing, just this online Linux course. You should learn the fundamentals of Linux, basically how it works and uh, a, some common Linux commands. All right, that's the first project. And if you already know some command line Linux, feel free to just skip it if you already know the basics of Linux, but everybody needs to know the basics of Linux. Then after you know the basics of Linux, you can start exploiting my website with command injection. And this is a, a very simple vulnerability, quite common. It's not the most common vulnerability in the world, but it happens pretty often. And when it happens, it's very easy to exploit. So it's the place to start. So here's command injection. Uh, this, this vulnerability here happens on a lot of routers. If you have a router, you connect it to the internet, you get going and there's somewhere a page that says test your internet connection. And that usually works like this. You put in an IP address and ping it. So if I put in an IP address of 127.0.0.1 here, which is the local address, and then hit send pings. Oh, that's not good. Somebody's trashed it. I'm going to have to, um, huh. Well, that's rude. Um, I'll have to check that and see, let me see if I can go to, um, attack. Let's just a moment. Let's try this one. ad.samsclass.info. And, um, let's see if this one has a ping on it. Well, that's going to follow up my uh, demo. All right, I'll have to demonstrate this one later. I'm going to have to stop this video. So start with Linux Journey, and I'll fix this ping for him. It'll be working by later tonight. Uh, my servers keep getting hacked all the time, of course, because they're all vulnerable. So I often have to restore them from backup, and that'll take a little while. So I'm going to stop this video.